guys so welcome back to my channel it's been a while anyways i'm getting ready to go out so i'm not even going to explain why i was away i'm just going to get into this video and yeah let's get ready i don't even have much time so yeah so i'm wearing this five by five closure wig and it has been my go-to wig for a while now as you can see it has started plucking itself i want to do flexi rods i want to have it curled up so i'm currently at home so please excuse the background noise so this is a chetty get ready with me right and i wanted to share with you guys how happy i am with my life right now because man go I literally come to you and I tell you what in your goal. So right now I'm happy and I'm here to tell you that I am happy. I decided to go back to bed. I was like, you know what? Girls meaning that I turned. I know exactly who will love me and where I want to be loved, and that's Jesus. But not only that, hey, I was also triggered by family. You know, you think you have like a very loving um united family and you then find out that you don't so you guys will know this because i've once shared it on instagram you know extended family sometimes will i'll one day have the strength to talk about it but yeah so let me just finish doing this hair thing let me just finish doing this because I'm a bit distracted but lately I have been really content with my life I've been really happy with how things are actually unfolding and my life has just been me in my little corner trying to figure things out and trying to figure myself out and I have been reading a lot I have been in my Bible a lot and yeah me dedicating my life to self-growth and self-help if that makes sense and i am at my happiest right now and also i honestly feel like my career is taking off and i am excited so i'm really excited to see what my career has for me and like what exactly is going to unfold and happen for me and i honestly feel like i am living in god's dream for me or for my life because I've never once imagined myself living the life that I'm living now. But I'm so peaceful and I'm so content. And I am so happy. And I feel like God knows me more than I know myself. So yeah, I have been doing a lot of healing. And I have been in a very like good space. In a very, very nice good space. And yeah, man. But anyways, like let's get ready. Let's get ready. This smells so good. I love it. And my skin has been responding so well to it. Everything that I'm using, I will list below on the description box. Hi, Nina Nyabanga, Bafana. Hey, Bo. So, you guys, um, this girl on my Instagram would always like compliment me every time I post a story or something like that. Like every time I post something on my stories, she will reply and she always called me oh my nanny and I was wondering why. Like why does this girl always call me oh my But like I would just let it pass because I don't know. Why is she doing that? But then this one day I decided to ask her why? Why do you call me that like all the time? Are we somehow related or like what's happening? Why do you call me that? And then she tells me, "What you know? I call you my nanny because you are my my husband's second wife. My husband has this huge crush on you." Hi, boo. In ten January, your husband has a crush on me, and like you are here calling me my nanny because of that. I get what I guess is all seen. And then I ask her, and you're okay with that? Like, are you okay with the fact that you know that your husband has a crush on another girl? And she's like, yeah, I'm okay with that because, like, it's a harmless crush. It's like having a crush on a celebrity or somebody you'll never ever go for, but you know, it's just a harmless crush. 
even if he had a crush on Beyonce, I wouldn't be okay with it. And she's like, oh well, maybe you're insecure, but like I'm okay with the fact that my husband has crushes. I feel like it's normal and besides, he'd never ever pursue them. It's just crushes. And you know, he always has crushes on these Instagram girlies and um, celebrities and stuff. So I'm like, okay, if you're fine with it, then it's cool. But I think it's a bit dodgy to have a crush on a girl and actually tell your wife about it. I mean, like, how did you find out? And she was like, no, I found your pictures, your Instagram pictures on his phone. And then he told me it's just a harmless crush. And I'm like, okay. I feel like that's dodgy, but girl, do you? So, but like, are you telling me? Who's calling? Hello? So you're telling me that you would be okay with your man having a crush on someone else? And like that person exists on this earth and Jay, very accessible, come on. And then she came for me, she came for me like strong. And she was telling me about how insecure I am and you know things like that and I was like okay cool like whatever and then I realized that I should just mind my own business and just <laughs> and then she apologizes for coming for me and she's like oh I didn't mean to offend you but I was just telling you that my man is trustworthy and he would never ever do something to hurt me like he would never ever do anything to hurt me and i'm like okay cool that's that's good i mean that's really good because when do you know your man so it is what it is and he doesn't even have instagram so i'm like okay that's cool then because he doesn't have instagram but he has my pictures so like it's fine and i feel like yeah is your man so whatever whatever helps to sleep at night and yeah it's your life so i have no say i literally have no say you do you and i'll do me and she lectures me about red flags and she tells me that i if i continue looking for red flags then i'm going to find them and I will never ever have a healthy relationship in my life because the only thing that I'm looking out for is red flags and I'm like okay maybe you are right but and maybe she is right you know maybe she is right because the first thing that I look for are red flags I do not even look for green flags or flags of any color of any other color the first thing that I look for is red flags and at the first sight of the very first red flag I flee like I move on I block and I move on so maybe yeah so maybe yes I will not get into a relationship anytime soon because of that and maybe she is right but I'm fine with that and then she goes on to explain how much of like she goes on to explain that every relationship is a risk even the relationship that you have with your family is still taking a risk everybody can hurt you and you just have to um, look over your fears and actually leap and you know start a relationship with someone otherwise you will die alone and I'm like I'm cool like it's okay it's fine like I'm okay with all that and I'm like I'm fine with that don't justify it it's fine whatever you say it's okay I mean it's your life and you don't have to keep justifying yourself to me you know I'm just a stranger on the internet so yeah like i'm good like i'm fine you don't have to keep explaining yourself to me time goes by and yeah we're good again and she goes on to compliment me again every time i post a story she she actually replies to it we talk we laugh and we call again you know for like the longest time and then I think weeks later I get a DM from some random guy and this guy just sends me screenshots of his accounts um, all his accounts bank balances 
um, all the investments that he has and you know whatever else uh, money that he has and then he takes pictures of his cash also and I'm like oh my god like what's happening I ignore the DM and I just move on with my life because one thing about me I'm not a gold digger I love money but I'm not a gold digger money will not be the only thing that makes me want to be with you you have to be other things also because like I'm not a gold digger yes I want my man to be stable and have money but like you can't just come to me and show me screenshots of how much money you have and then I'm gone just like that you know money is important yes but it can't be it can't be the only thing that you have to to flex you know you, you just can't I mean I'm not poor I'm okay with my lifestyle you know I can maintain myself and I, like I'm okay with the life that I'm living and if you can't add value into my life then I don't want you so you can't come here and send me screenshots of how much money you have and then think I'll jump at the opportunity to be with you simply because you have money like what else do you have to offer besides money I mean what else Besides, gay, my body is not for sale. So yeah, this man sends me screenshots of his money and his balances and whatever. He tells me that he's going away on business um, and he will be away for two weeks. Um, he's married and he would like for me to come with him. And yeah. And I'm like, hey, I'm just going to ignore this because... The minute you reply, he thinks he has a chance. So I was like, hey, no, let me just ignore this. Because you know, men are dumb, men are stupid. So once you reply, he will think, oh, it's, it's his chance to, to beg or to keep convincing you to do it. So I decided to just ignore the text and move on with my life. And then a week ago, I received a text from my girlie and she is telling me about how she is now in hospital so she's telling me that she's going through the most and she just needs someone to talk to and i'm like girl i'm here for you you can vent you can talk because i find that speaking to strangers even if like you don't know me and you just wanna vent like it's cool i'm open to that um she tells me that she's not well and she's in hospital fighting for her life her mental health is not good she is going through the most and yeah she's now in the psych ward and she's fighting for like her mental health and for her life as a whole because she got so sick because of what happened to her that she was admitted to hospital and then um, a psychiatrist actually admitted her and told her she needs to keep a close eye on her because she's not well like at all so I ask her what's going on like why is she now in hospital like what is really happening and then she tells me she starts fainting and she tells me that her husband or her husband to be actually scammed her he did the worst thing possible so she tells me that Uhabi shot his shot with one of the influencers and yeah Miss Girl just didn't waste any time and she just agreed to go in with the man. They were together for a week and they spent all their money. Like all their money. The money that they saved. Like all the money that they had. They spent. Everything was spent. Even the money that they saved for their kids, even the money that they saved for their future was spent. So now she's in a position where she doesn't know what to do. And when she found out that Habi did all these things, she just lost it. She fainted. You know, she's suffering. I comforted her for a while. And then she asked me to, to look for her husband's DMs. On my DMs right just to see if he does this or if he DMs other girls you know and I look for it and I find it and it's the guy that sent me screenshots of his balances 
So I screenshot the whole thing and I sent it to her. She then sends me a very long voice note and she tells me how angry she is. <laughs> and after a while, I realized that she's not mad at her man. She's mad at me. She's mad at us. She then tells me that the only reason why she's mad and the only thing that's making her mad is that we post pictures that actually attract their men and she thinks that being an influencer or um, a content creator is a very low job and it's just a cover for being a gold digger and you know things like that you are mad at the wrong person like what did i do what did she do she owes you nothing she owes you nothing your husband owes you loyalty and she owes you nothing she saw an opportunity to make money and she made money so i'm not going to sit here and pretend to be mad at her the only person that we should be mad at is your husband and you know it so child <laughs> because she wasn't even mad at her husband she's mad at me she's mad at us she even said that no one no woman makes that much money just by posting so we know what we do and now i'm offended also because like what do you mean you know what we do and she was like all oh, this is just a cover for being a gold digger and we should just stop and ask ourselves if this is the life that we want to live and we should just stay away from people's husbands and you know whatever nonsense else like i'm like hi bonangu mama kekama kula like what about your husband what about the man that actually hurt you first of all you chose this man so like why is it now our problem why is it now our business okay i have to go now but yeah i i wanted to tell the story because i want you guys to know that even if like even if you are so far away from trouble and you are at home enjoying your life people will test you they will test you because like so now that you have a kid, you can't move on. I am happy. I hey. So because I love you, kiddo, I am going to take you, Baba, and God. I love you, Sammy. Hey, thank you, hey, thank you. And you guys like forcing marriages as if unje aungine zulu in munga na sister be tukshat. Anyways, I need to get going. I will tell you guys when I come back how everything went and yeah for now it's goodbye. Mm -hmm.